Hey, I'm Donald Bell for CNET.com, and today we're giving a first look for the Apple iPod Nano, the seventh generation iPod Nano. It's $149, gives you 16 gigabytes of capacity. This is the first iPod Nano to use a kind of iPod touch style touchscreen design. Uh, Apple introduced the touchscreen to the iPod Nano last year with a squared off clip on watch style iPod Nano. This time they've elongated the design so that it's more of an iPhone, iPod touch look. They've added a home button to the bottom to give it that again, that uh, iPod touch, iPhone kind of operation. But otherwise it's kind of what you'd expect from an iOS-ish kind of device. It's not running iOS, it's running its own unique iPod Nano software. There's some new features though, you get video playback on this now. So if you wanted to watch video on a 2.5 inch screen, you now have that ability. Uh, the other big feature that they've added on here is wireless Bluetooth audio. This has been a big one that we've been asking for for the Nano, and even arguably something like the Shuffle. There's a lot of freedom there if you can break the cable of the headphones and be able to use wireless headphones or be able to use this with a wireless speaker. Another change here is that Apple is using their lightning port connection on here, the same one that they're using on the new iPod Touch and the new iPhone 5. It's a change for a lot of people. It means it's gonna break compatibility with accessories like speaker docks or uh, in-car stereo speakers that you've got hooked up. So if you're gonna buy this, expect that you're gonna to have to buy some new accessories too or just find a way to get, uh, maybe get a Bluetooth speaker or something to replace those old docking accessories you used to have. Another slight change is that Apple has upgraded their headphones to these new EarPod design headphones. It's a slightly different fit. I find it um, slightly less comfortable actually because it's an all plastic design. The plastic is against your ears. You get a little bit better audio quality, but not that much. I think if you really are using this as a fitness MP3 player, you're probably gonna want to invest in some rugged, more fitness friendly headphones than these. Another thing I was kind of disappointed in is that Apple didn't include the inline remote on these headphones, which would be great if you wanted to change tracks without having to look at your MP3 player. They do meet you halfway though. One of the new design elements here on the Nano is that they've included a button right on the rocker switch, right in between the volume up and volume down that you can use as a play pause button, or if you hold it down, you can get that voiceover information. You can even use it to navigate between different playlists without having to look at the iPod Nano still would have been cooler to have that on a headphone remote. All in all though, this is just kind of the classic features we'd expect from an iPod, but uh, at $150, it's a bit of a stretch, especially when you think that something like the iPod Shuffle here, it's gonna be just $50. If you really are kind of into the fitness thing, $50 and something you can just clip onto your clothes, it's gonna be a better solution for you probably than this $150 glass covered device. At another $50, you can go up to $199, you can get Apple's fourth generation iPod Touch, and you're gonna get a ton more features. Wi-Fi compatibility, AirPlay, email, calendar, a lot more bang for your buck going with the iPod Touch for $199, and that same 16 gigabyte capacity. So there you go, that's a first look at the Apple iPod Nano, the seventh generation.